Don't look at my fucking hair. Shit is wavy as fuck right now, okay? I got bed head. I'm laying in bed right now. I'm lazy as shit. It's raining outside. And I just wanted to make a rant video about how fucking mad I am. And how much of a fucking piece of shit Facebook is. And how fucking crooked they, they fucking are. And how fucking stupid their system is and how it's set up. Because how the fuck did two separate profiles of mine get d disabled at the same fucking time? And the craziest fucking thing about it is I have attempted to make 30, like literally 30 new fucking accounts, new Facebook accounts, and they, keep, they, get, the, they get disabled immediately. As soon as I make it, it logs me out, and then it, I try to log back in, and it says, your account has been permanently disabled. And there's no appeal, there's no appeal form, you can't appeal it, you can't contact Facebook, there's no number to contact Facebook, there's no way, I've filled out a couple other fucking forms and sent them to Facebook, and that shit doesn't work anyways, there's four point, there's probably, there's five billion people on Facebook, <laughs> like, probably more, you know what I'm saying, this is, this is not gonna happen, nothing is ever gonna happen. Trying to contact fucking Facebook is like trying to contact fucking presidents. It's not, you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. They don't give a fuck anyways. But anyways, yeah, I just think that's fucking psychotic. That is fucking psychotic. Not only that, Facebook verified me. I'm a fucking artist. I'm a fucking musician. I'm a, I'm a public figure. I'm not a fucking, uh, like, I haven't done anything for something that dramatic to happen. Like, I haven't violated any of Facebook's policies. I didn't do shit. I literally didn't do a fucking thing. The only thing that I I know what happened is I fucking commented on a video on YouTube of fucking these ethical hackers. I just commented in the comments, and I got a reply on that comment, and Buddy said that he ha that he had something coming for me, and he says, "Say goodbye to your Facebook accounts and your Facebook and your verified Facebook pages." Out of nowhere, I'm like, "Okay, yeah, good luck," because I ain't clicking any fucking thing you send me, and there ain't a goddamn thing you can do to hack me unless I made a fucking mistake by opening an email, downloading a PDF file, clicking a link. I ain't clicking shit. I ain't downloading shit. Fucking good luck trying to get me. And you know what they did? They organized a fucking large group of hackers, ethical hackers, because it was a huge forum. It was a huge YouTube channel. These guys are all very active with each other. And they all went onto my channel, found out about my Facebook profiles, because I have them in the, in the descriptions and shit for people to contact me. And they went onto the profiles and sequently, like, in, 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 in an organized fashion... Bro, they would have had to do, like, hundreds of... Okay, so basically what they did is they found my fucking profiles and they reported it hundreds to thousands of times. A thousand people, two thousand people, three thousand people in a fucking forum all reported my fucking profiles all at the same time. And Facebook went, bop, instantly. Their system disabled my accounts immediately because they got a mass scale of reports on my profile, so automatically to the Facebook system, they figured I was fraudulent or it was a fake account and I was doing something abusive and, and mass amounts of people were fucking reporting me until um, immediately, all of a sudden, my profiles were completely fucking disabled and I lost all of my verified pages. Sincere Music with a Z, Look it up. You'll see it's Blue Badge Verified. You'll see me and all the videos. That's my fucking page. I'm an artist. I own the domain called SincereMusic.com. You Google Sincere Music, you'll see I'm on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Store, everything. I'm, 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 I'm well established online, you know, as an artist and as a public figure. And I had multiple pages verified, not only just for my music, but for my businesses, which literally cut my incomes off. And completely fucked me over and destroyed me. And stopped all my incomes. And I am having problems in my life because of that now. Because that just fucked 
all my income's over and all my money is cut off now. Facebook is a piece of shit. Okay, there should be, that should not even be a fucking possibility because people with large followings like me and that are very, you know, like people want to get you. Okay, when you're somebody, when you're verified on Facebook, you know how many fucking messages a day I get of people trying to hack me? Click this link. People try, bro, I'm telling you, I get fucking thousands of messages of people trying to hack me in, in fucking thousands of different fucking sneaky, clever ways. I don't respond to anything. I don't click anything. I don't fucking do anything because I know already, okay? I know about ethical hacking, you know, black hat hacking. Like, I'm educated on these things. I actually know how to use Kali Linux and people can literally hack your devices, your phone through your IP address and get your IP address through a chat box from you talking to them on Facebook without you even knowing they got your IP address and they can use that IP address to now literally locate your long, how do you say it? Oh fuck, I can't even say it, long, longitude, latitude thing or whatever, your coordinates, literally your fucking, your, your exact coordinates locate you they can go into your device into your files turn your webcam on and webcam on and and watch you when you're not even aware of it record you take pictures record audio and i've actually executed some of these things with kali linux on my own devices learning ethical hacking just to see like you know what i mean like i was interested in it because you know people were trying to hack me and i'm like well i want to learn how the fuck they're doing this shit you know what i'm saying so i did and I realized how serious this shit is. And I was like, oh my God. So don't click anything ever. Don't do any fucking thing. Okay. Just, I'm not even going to explain to you. But uh, listen, they, any, okay, anybody can get destroyed. All right. I could form a, a huge forum of individuals and we could all report your fucking profile simultaneously and continuously and rapidly and automatically by the Facebook system, their algorithms will disable your account. And once your account is completely disabled like that, there is no recovering it. It's not like deactivating your account and you have a fucking time frame to undeactivate it. There's no such thing. If you get disabled by Facebook permanently, you're fucking banned for life off of Facebook. And that only happens if your profiles get fucking reported on a mass scale. Like hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of reports instant, like right away. In, a, in less than an hour, there's a thousand reports. Bam, your shit's gone immediately. Facebook, bam, gone. And you'll never get it back. You lose all your verified pages. And it's over for you. You know, Facebook is done for you. And you know what the scariest fucking part is? You think, okay, well... Whatever, I'll take L, I lost my fucking verified pages, I lost everything, you know, I lost my Facebook. I'll just make a new Facebook. No, no you won't. Because guess what? I made 30 new Facebook accounts using my name. Now my fucking name is completely banned permanently from fucking Facebook because I made a new Facebook account with my name and... With a new email, I, ma I had to make a new email, which was actually I had to make a new Gmail and an email and a new Facebook account using a new phone number, all brand new information, all brand new, like I was just a brand new person making a brand new Facebook account, like I never made one in my fucking life. And guess what happened? As soon as I made it, it logged me out and I'm like, what the fuck? And I go to log back in, your account is disabled. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, that's fucking crazy. So I've been blacklisted, blackballed by Facebook. My name itself is blackballed by Facebook now, like permanently. I'm never, bro, that's on some next level shit. The only way something like that will ever happen to you is if a, a fucking government entity or organization directly contacted Facebook on some heavy fucking incorporation shit and said that this person needs to be fucking remo removed uh, permanently for these legal purposes or some crazy shit like that. That's the only fucking way something like that would happen, but um, that's fucking crazy, man. But I know what uh, what happened. It was is, is that I was mass reported on a mass scale because I commented on that fucking YouTube channel, but the, so what? Like... It's not my fault. Like you, so you're telling me any one of you guys could comment on any fucking YouTube channel and that can happen to you. It doesn't matter. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, you can't blame me for commenting on a fucking YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, how would I know that some fucking weirdos were lurking and actually had the ability to fucking mass report my shit and have me... And, and, and so I kept making new accounts, new emails, new accounts. And I literally have a huge list of fucking Facebook accounts. And I use different names. I use my name. I use Corey Douglas. My, my name is Corey Wiegand. Corey Douglas Wiegand. That's my full name. You know what I'm saying? And other known as Sincere Music. And I use different names like fucking, you know, Bob fucking John or, you know, fucking George fucking whatever you know what i'm saying i i tried 30 different strategies to make a new facebook account with new i have now 30 facebook accounts that have been disabled and 30 brand new fucking email accounts and gmail accounts that i'm never going to use now that are just i had to make for no fucking reason and i had to even ask like <laughs> like 30 of my friends to use their phone numbers for a verification code because I can't use my number anymore because it's been used once and it's in the system and it won't let you reuse your fucking number. Do you fucking realize? Bro, this was like a month ago. I haven't made, I haven't been able to make a Facebook account to speak to my friends, to speak to anybody. I have been completely blackballed and blacklisted from Facebook permanently for life. And there's nothing I can do about it. I am never allowed to go on Facebook again. I'll never be able to make account again for no fucking reason. And I didn't do anything wrong at all. Do you realize how that's affected my fucking career as an artist and as an entrepreneur? It's cut off my incomes. It's caused me to suffer financially in my real life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Facebook has become very manipulative and controlling and fucking evil and, and, and just... It's unfucking real, man. It's it's unreal. They force you to use your government name, and they make you upload a picture of your photo ID. And that's what I did every time I try to make a Facebook account. It's like it said, "Sorry, we need to confirm your identity. Please upload your uh, to uh, piece of gov uh, photo government ID." And so I did that. And when I upload it, bam, it disables my shit right away. And I'm like, "Oh my god!" So. I try to make a bunch of face, fake Facebook accounts and I get to the p part where I make it and then all of a sudden, boom, it wants me to upload ID. And if I don't, then I can't get on that Facebook account, period. It blocks you off and then it disables the account. So you're telling me that I am never allowed Corey Douglas Wiegand or Corey Wiegand or Corey Douglas. I've tried all the different things. And none of them work. They all said disabled. All different new emails, new phone numbers. Nothing for them to even know that I'm the one behind it making these Facebook accounts. So guess what? You're no longer able to just make a fake Facebook account with a fake name. You can't, like, I don't think you, you can't even do that anymore. You can't. You used to be able to do that. I was able to do that. And basically, it would just like if somebody reported your profile and said you're using not the name that you don't use every day, there's you can report somebody's profile or whatever, I guess. And fucking uh, Facebook will make you upload a picture of your fucking photo ID. And if you don't, you don't get your Facebook account back. It's it's locked. You get logged out until you upload ID. Bro. I'm shocked. Like, I don't even know what the fuck to say right now. Like, I'm just like, uh, this This is a nightmare. Like, I was making money off my Facebook, my career, like, my shit, I, like, my fucking music, like, my blue badge verified pay page that all my traffic is going to be going to that I'm when I'm, you know, branding myself as an artist and, like, I'm on iTunes, Spotify, all that shit. And this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. And how the fuck is Facebook not contacting me? How come I'm not able to contact Facebook? Are you guys going to make me? I live in Canada. Are you going to make me get on a fucking plane and fly to California and walk right into a fucking Facebook building and demand some fucking justice? Because I have done nothing wrong. People falsely reported my shit and had my fucking profiles. Two different profiles taken down simultaneously at the same time. How the fuck is that even possible? That's what happens when you're somebody. 
You know what I mean? If you're a public figure, you're a rapper, like, if you have a, like, you know, people are envious, people are jealous that you have a fucking verified page, they're jealous of you that you're a cocky fucking artist, that, whatever, man, like, that's what it is, the, the whole game is competitive, it's fucked up, just like the music industry is, is, is a fucking evil industry, you know what I'm saying, This all this shit is evil, you know what I'm saying, and I look like fucking Beavis, butthead looking ass motherfucker with, with my crazy ass hair and shit. But whatever, y'all. Either way, man, um, I feel violated in, in such a way where I, I want to fucking hurt people. And there's nobody that I can hit. <laughs> there's no one I can get. There's nothing I can do. They fucking... What the fuck? Like, bro, what are you guys doing? Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, over there on Facebook, like... How 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 could something like this to such a degree happen to somebody that's fucking verified that you guys verified on Facebook? Like, the fuck? Like, I've established myself well online and you're just going to ruin every fucking thing that I ever had? I'm allowed to use your platform. Fuck you guys. What the fuck? Suck my dick, bro. It's Facebook. It's not... You guys can need to stop controlling it so much. Like, you've made it. Now fuck off. Like, you made it for the people. This is for us. You know what I'm saying? I didn't violate any of the policies. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do nothing wrong. People falsely reported me, and somehow, how am I, how is this happening? Like, Facebook should be responsible for shit like this. There should be a way that, there's no way that this could fucking happen. So you're telling me I could go, I have, say if I had a, a YouTube channel with fucking a million subscribers, and I said, yo, I made a video and I said, yo, there's there's a profile link in the description. I need everybody to go to this fucking Facebook account and report different reports, as many different reports as you can on this profile so we can get it disabled. Bam, and it gets automatically disabled. Bam, I just fucking got rid of somebody. They lose all of their verified pages. All of, they could have been famous. They could be fucking famous for all the fuck. If you can find their profile, they're fucked. Any, it can happen to anybody, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, well, yeah, you can just comment on the wrong video on YouTube. You just be like, oh, what an awesome video. There's fucking hackers. There's there's real professional ethical hackers out there, black hat hackers that actually, like, work for fucking government organizations that went from white hat to fucking gray hat to black hat. And and that means white hat is, is legal and it's working for, like, you know, government type thing, you know, like Facebook engineer or, you know what I mean, type thing, and, 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 oh my god, and then, the, you know, and then there's Black Hat, where you're, you're executing illegal operations with the skills that you've learned with ethical hacking, okay, so, um, this, that's problematic, yo, and my shit got fucking smashed, and I can't contact Facebook, and there's nothing I can fucking do, and it has affected me heavily, and you would imagine, you're just like, well, how the fuck does Facebook affect your life that much, <laughs> Because I'm a fucking artist and I'm an entrepreneur, I make money from Facebook. That's the main fucking plug for entrepreneurs. That's the only, that's the main plug you want to make money, bro. I was making money from, you know, like that shit was helping me make, you know, an extra four or $500 a week. I needed that. That helps me live to survive. I need Facebook. As an artist, if I was an artist or entrepreneur, I wouldn't give a fuck about Facebook. I'd be out to live my life I don't care but my life depends on Facebook because I'm an artist and I'm a fucking entrepreneur and that is the main platform where everybody is like fucking 4.7 billion active users per month was the last rating that I seen a while ago okay so I need to access that those masses for my music to fucking thrive and for my business my businesses to thrive and all of my businesses got shut down because of that all my fucking verified Facebook pages I had businesses verified on Facebook like gray badge blue badge like that fucked my life up bro like my money I'm 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 down five hundred to a thousand dollars a week now because of that for no fucking reason. And Facebook should be held fucking responsible for this, man. Straight up. Because you guys should not ever... This should not be a capability for anybody to do. There should be no way an or, uh, an organized group of individuals can come and report, mass report somebody's profile. And it can be automatically disabled permanently for fucking life. And then on top of it, 
Facebook is targeting my MAC address, my IP address, and my fucking serial number connected to the device and connected to my laptop. Because I use two different devices, my laptop and my phone, to make fucking new Facebook accounts under different names, my name, and different emails with different names in the emails. Diff- every- I tried everything. I did it all, every different fucking way you could possibly try to get on Facebook. And it gets disabled, 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 disabled. That can't be a possibility. That You guys are, that's fucking poor business. And they don't care because they're fucking trillion fucking near rich. They don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's not good business, like... Uh, like I'm on there making, uh, you know, paying you guys for Facebook advertising. I've spent thousands of dollars on Facebook advertising and this is what I get in return. And I've established myself on your fucking platform and this is what, this is what you allow to happen to me. That's not cool, bro. I'm saying so this has affected me in in my future as as an artist because social media is where you blow up Facebook is where where you blow up nowadays I'm not going to get fucking signed by a label unless one of my videos on Facebook on my verified page that people are going to see I'm an authentic public figure that are going to take me more seriously blows up because I spent a thousand dollars on fucking Facebook ads to fucking reach over a million fucking people on Facebook I'm saying because that's how you do proper marketing. You don't fucking spam on Facebook. You you pay for advertising like every other company, organization, and business does. Okay? That's the professional way to to do anything with your music. That's what the labels do. The major labels, they sign you and then they dump hundreds and thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars in advertising campaigns on every major platform, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Facebook, every fucking thing that you could possibly imagine and more. That's how it's done. Okay, so now I'm fucked completely. And I I'm, I'm I, I feel delusional about it. I have been cut off my incomes, my fucking fan base, my page, my verified page. You know how hard that is? You can't even get verified now. Verification stopped at, at the beginning of 2017. You can't even request to get verified anymore on Facebook. You don't get verified anymore unless you're an actual, you actually become viral and blow up and become a fucking celebrity. Before you could actually request a badge, if you were actually an authentic public figure, you could get authenticated, and that's what I did. You know what I mean? And there's lots of things involved in that. It's not just that easy, but you know what I'm saying? So, either way, man. Uh, I'm I'm devastated, so I'm making this video to freak the fuck out. My name is Corey Wigan, aka Sincere Music. Uh, share this to somebody at Facebook and uh, t- tell them to help me, <laughs> because that's not cool at all, and that's not right, and it should be investigated and uh, fixed ASAP. Okay, uh, help me share this video. Like, help me get the shit out there, because if it doesn't, then I'm not gonna get my shit back. So somehow this video needs to do something, man. Fuck.